Okay, everybody, uh, that was freaking amazing. Uh, I'm so glad that I have that on tape. So uh, it, it really happened. Um, I'm actually gonna share my screen really quickly and do a very quick presentation that I think is really important. This presentation is called Reset Print. And um, this is all about workforce development. And um, I, I have a weird occupation in the printing industry. Uh, I created my own job. I'm the intergalactic ambassador to the Printiverse. I worked in advertising for over 25 years, started a LinkedIn group called Print Production Professionals, which is now the number one print group in the world, which uh, allowed me to get involved uh, with Print Media Center and create a whole bunch of uh, community initiatives, including International Print Day. Um, and um, something coming next year called Print Life, which I will discuss at the end of this. But I um, presented uh, to the Graphic Communication Educators Association, Education Association, um, about how to rebrand print in a way that Gen Zers uh, and high school students and all of uh, even people choosing college careers would would have an interest in it. So what is print? Um, this is what they think print is. It's antiquated, it's dying, it kills trees, it's not socially responsible, and it is not cool. Um, and it is up to us to change that perception of um, print. Uh, they are not going to think differently of it unless we do something about it. So when I think of print, what is print? Um, as uh, was mentioned before, print is ink on anything. It is printed textiles. It is printed decor. It is, by the way, I had no idea that you could print on shades. And now I am completely obsessed with that, um, as well as the blinds, although I think that would be very difficult to match up. But you know, that's why you need experts on these things. Wall graphics have taken off now, um, and they don't just have to be, uh, you know, plain walls or your logos in, in a building. There are some really cool things being done out there. Everybody in Manhattan wants exposed brick. There you go. Um, floor graphics are not just about COVID materials, you know, uh, they could be cool, they could be funky. Uh, this subway in Korea created a, a, a beach scene. Um, ceramic tiles, uh, think of this as a, as a backsplash and all the opportunities that are available, but with ink on anything. Um, what is print? It is a super cool technology. And I hope some of my friends from Atlanta are here because when I say that, this is the press I show everybody. It is, there, you, the operator stands in a cockpit. That is not uncool. That is cool. This is a giant thing of coolness to high school students and even college students. And by the way, the teachers thought this was amazing as well. Nanography is cool. Printed electronics, uh, these Coca-Cola labels all lit up, the lightsabers all lit up. This is cool. This is not an antiquated technology. 3D printing, as we all know, um, and of course I show them a superhero and they really like it. Um, what is print? It is dynamic and unique. Um, these are examples of variable data printing that uh, uses also uses a technology that HP has called Mosaic, which is one of my favorite things in the world. You put in a design, you set some parameters, uh, you put in a design file, you set some parameters, and it spews out as many iterations, different iterations, as uh, you want. And we've seen this. Uh, these are the examples that we usually see in the marketplace. Um, but uh, the this is what print is all about now. Um, there is the opportunity to use personalization or customization in publishing, uh, as was mentioned before, um, that this is all important now. It doesn't have to be something that is expected. It could be something unique and dynamic. 
print is a digital bridge. I mean, look at how cool this is. It Using augmented reality, you can take a Vespa on a ride. You can, uh, wine labels can come to life. Uh, you can get stories. You can uh, hear fiction. Uh, you can learn about the vineyard uh, where your grapes came from. Uh, everybody's used to QR codes now, thanks to COVID. I guess if we can say thanks to COVID, and we uh, now that is that means there's an opportunity. Uh, mind you, it starts on something that's printed, hopefully more than an acrylic block. But who cares if it's an acrylic block? Get in there and then get involved in the follow up marketing when they have new customers. But those QR codes become a real uh, opportunity for printing because people know what they are know they are now. They they know they don't have to download anything. Their cameras can scan them. You can hear a cool band, a preview of pu a, a cool band, or see a chef actually cooking the chicken that's in the magazine. What is print? It is an innovative industry. I love these packaging examples. Uh, they're just cool examples, and the. Students went crazy seeing this stuff. This is not what they think of when they think of print. These are some of my favorite examples. Uh, uh, really, and they love these because they're eco-friendly, which is a really big um, topic for them. Uh, so you order a t-shirt and your box turns into a hanger or you get a pizza and instead of then needing uh, you know, to use plates and you know, everything else that they might put in the package, everything sustainably comes in one package. Um, same thing with this butter knife. Um, instead of using a plastic knife, the wooden uh, knife is actually part of the packaging there. Um, I just thought these were really cool examples and so did the kids because this, what is, what is going on here? It's four color printing or two color printing and a string. And this is what an experience was created and experience is being created. And the more creative you can be, the cooler the experience can be, or it can be serious. You can use a print in a really cool way to, uh, you know, help a charity or to just, uh, as I said, you know, make somebody have a really cool experience. You know, you walk past somebody and they're driving by in their shopping bag car. What is print? Print is a forest warrior. Server farm, tree farm. Server farm, tree farm. There is no world that the server farm is more ecologically friendly than a tree farm. So um, I also, you know, we mentioned this before uh, in Australia, they have the paper loves the love paper campaign. This is the love paper campaign in the United States. Um, it is uh, tied in with two sides too. So, but lovepaperna.org, you can get tons of information and share it on your websites. And you should uh, to make sure that people understand tree farm, server farm. What is print? It is creative and inspiring. Print is ink on anything. It is a super cool, dynamic and unique technology. It is a digital bridge. It is an innovative industry. It is creative, inspiring. It is a forest warrior and it is an evolving industry. And next year, I am introducing Print Life, which is exploring the printiverse. And what it will do is um, highlight all the different careers and all the different things that go on in the printing industry and all the people who create the print from, from thinking of the idea to hanging it in Times Square. What, are, what do all those people do? What's an ink chemist? What's a marketing person? What's a press operator? And everybody will be able to use these things to help share with the younger Gen Z generation and uh, start getting them interested in the industry um, is um, under the guises of print. There's print life is innovation and impact. It is creative communications. It is tools and technology. It is captivating careers. So I just wanted to share that with everybody that is coming next year. You all need to be involved with it. Project Peacock will be part of this because we obviously wanna show people 
uh, not only the cool careers uh, that we have, but the cool things that can manifest when all these people get together collectively and form the print industry. So thank you so much for your time. And I will now stop sharing my screen and call Donna from Zycon. 